welcome back, everybody. V for Yay. victory. V for a victory. <laughs> yeah, <was> part two. <laughs> yeah. Part Spock. two. Spock. <laughs> oh, you could do that. Yeah. I can't. Uh, I can't do that. <laughs> I can do that. Spock. He was. He's actually my favorite character from Star Trek. So. Oh yeah. I never watched Star Trek. My I mom, like, my mom used to love it when she was a kid. So. When when it was on, it was I I I it wasn't very. I only liked the comedies. <laughs> I mean, I like and the, I could not I couldn't understand a lot of that show. A lot of these shows I liked at the beginning. Like I would like the theme song. Like for example, I like right. the beginning of a Secret Agent Man. I like the theme song. Yeah. And then once the show started, it was the let. <laughs> It's actually quite a dull show with uh, yeah. it's actually called Danger Man with uh, Patrick McGowan. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Hawaii Five O. Oh, I like yeah. the music. Yeah, the music. And then the great. show was boring. I mean, yeah, for I a know. little kid. Yeah. Miami Vice. I like the the beginning yeah, I like of it. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I felt that Star Trek was kind of neat with all those rocket ships and everything at the I like beginning. That. I like the, and the music. But then once the show started, I was kind of bored. Yeah. I, oh, we're talking a, a, a five, six-year-old kid. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, but a comedy show. I, right. I uh, the only uh, the most serious show I would watch as a kid was Batman. <laughs> oh. Which is weird. Oh, by the way, I gotta tell you something about funny about the show Batman or about any of these shows. Um, you know, uh, my uh, I was I was talking about how people. We'll talk probably more about this next week. Right. But a lot, lot of. Parents don't like their kids watching certain shows, or if they let them watch certain things, they only show them a little bit of it. Like, like someone told me that when they show Superman to their kids, they only show him flying and turning the world, <laughs> yeah. and spinning around the on the other way or something. But uh, but they don't, and uh, they don't want them to see the the villains or anything in there. But um, I had this uh, video of the Batman movie made in 1966, which was sort of like a TV series, only all the all the villains were in it, the Riddler and the Joker and everybody, right, right, right. and Penguin and Catwoman. And I I told, when I lent it to a friend of mine to show to his kids, I said, you don't have to stop and go with this one. Just play the whole thing. Right, they're going to love the They're going right, to love the villains right. as much as the, right, <laughs> as the heroes, yeah. as Batman and Robin. Yeah. Yeah. Now... <laughs> So so I uh, uh, so I oh, oh oh getting back to the the fingers yeah. let's see can you do this can you do this <laughs> can you do this that's sort of like what I do this is really good can you wait can you like this is really hard to do to try it <laughs> in other words just just but the craziest thing that really freaks people out. I could do it. Is <laughs> my uncle? I'm actually doing it too fast, but it's actually kind of weird how I can get my fingers to do that. <laughs> my uncle, uh, yeah. one of my uncles, uh, he would like did this thumb trick thing. Oh, where you could take your thumb off? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let me. Oh yeah. I am. Um, oh, I, I have a little story about that. I can take my thumb mm. off. Okay. There, I'm taking my thumb off. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, what happened was, no, actually, I did it even better than that. I could take it even, I could do this, take my finger off, like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't have dark background. So anyway, I'm in Ireland, okay? Okay. And I'm uh, in my 20s. Uh -huh. And I see all these little kids. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I said, how am I going to, you know. scared me when I was a little girl when he used to, uncle used to Oh, so I remember, I said, how am I going to entertain these kids? So so one thing right. little kids love are knock-knock jokes. So I told a bunch of knock-knock jokes. Yeah. And the other thing was, uh, what's, what's next? Oh, the finger, the finger. Let's do the finger, the finger. So anyway, this is the story of what happened. These kids were mesmerized by the finger thing. <laughs> Evidently, nobody in their neighborhood knew how to do this. Yeah. So they said, I know how it's done. And I'd say, okay, show me how it's done. Show me how it's done. And, and he'd, he'd try to take it off my finger like he had a detachable finger. Says, no, 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 no. Look, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Can you do it? Can you do it? He goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> they just did not know how it was done. And according to my aunt uh, in Ireland, she said that the next door neighbors, there was a little girl and she was up all night because um, uh, my cousins, Desmond and Dibna's uh, American cousin, 
to take his fingers off. And I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how he did it. <laughs> and, and the mother did not know. I mean, did not even know that what I was doing. Like I was doing some sort of weird black magic. <laughs> So, so, uh, oh, but I, I said, listen, I said, listen, when I finally met the, uh, the, the little girl, uh, the little girl's mother and she was a delightful woman, I said, I said, you should see my, my uncle in New York. He could actually take his whole hand off. He could do his all, his head from the elbow. He could do all these tricks. He could take his, you know, I knew people would take their teeth out, but that they had false teeth. <laughs> Some things really freak out. Some okay. some guy, uh, my friend Dominic said, "You remember when you were in school and to gross out the girls? I'm not gonna do it here. <laughs> I haven't done it in years. You could, oh, they do like the eyelid thing. They would pull their eyelid and turn it inside out. And sometimes you could do it with both eyes. Some guys were could do it. With, oh, it was. God. I don't think it was very healthy to do this because yeah. I, you could probably injure your eyelid. You need your eyelids for the tears and everything. But when you're a kid, you don't care about those things." <laughs> Turn your eyelids inside and just freak people out. Somebody, you remember when guys do that to freak out the girls? And I said, I still do it. I remember, <laughs> I remember when I was a middle school in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. um, there was a a boy that used to like sit across the cafeteria mm -hmm. table. Somebody. Yeah. He would like show everybody that was sitting in the same yeah. table with him the eyelid. The eyelid thing, yeah. Oh my gosh. I remember. Did Did you have uh, Did you have guys who could um, I think I mentioned on a show recently, I never learned how to burp on purpose. A lot of kids do that. I still don't know how to do that. And then and then a lot of kids would, oh, the, oh the, the, some kids were like, like if you were, they were eating their dinner or something, yeah. and you took a glance at them, and no one else was looking at them, they'd show them all the inside of their mouth, <laughs> all, the, all the broccoli and everything. <laughs> Open their mouth. It's supposed to gross you out. <laughs> while you chew them. I remember my, uh, my sister would always get mad at me. She says, tell Kevin to stop staring at me. <laughs> I'm not staring at her. And of course, once they get, went on with their dinner, I'd just <laughs> stare at her. And then finally, he said, all right, stop staring at her. I got you. I caught you that time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. And then he would, like, take, take another bunch of legs. <laughs> I knew guys who could do the legs. He could do the arms. Do the, <laughs> I could still do the hand. I saw a guy do it. Oh, the yeah. guy could do it with mute. It's called a manualist. And anyway, uh, you know the joke I did. Yeah, I think I, I used did, to do that I told, I told a guy once he was doing the things with, with his armpit and yeah. it was making, you know, flatulent noises with it. <laughs> And then and then and then I finally said to him, "Now I want to see you make that noise with your mouth." <laughs> <laughs> Always got a big laugh. All that all that all that disgusting humor. Now I could I, uh, get, let's get uh, yeah. let's talk about nicer things. I could yeah. I could do a whole bunch. I could do. I could do. I knew a guy who could <laughs> beat, beat music. Hold, hold his mouth up and go. I can't do it, but he was—he could actually beat like time to jingle bells or take me out of the ball game. Oh, oh, oh man, it was all this um, yeah. weird. Uh, no, uh, uh, there's actually a book or a video you could get how to do all that stuff. All of that stuff I tried, and all that stuff even better than that. Yeah. It's called. <laughs> Playing with yourself. <laughs> I mean, that's it's a funny title. Yeah. They call it playing with yourself because you could, when you're not, when you don't have any toys to play with, right. you figure out all these things. <laughs> right, right, right. But I remember, I remember once I learned how to do that. I, I thought I had it made. <laughs> it's the Lawrence Welk Show. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a theme song. Yeah. yeah. I remember I used to love the woman who played the oh, piano yeah. really fast, Joanne Tassel. She was the greatest. Yeah. There were a lot of talented people on that show. Uh, the, the dancing. Yeah, I dancing. love that show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My parents still watch it. Oh, yeah. My <laughs> grandmother, there. I used to watch it with my grandmother all the time. Yeah. And now we're going to hear a medley of songs from World War II. I mean, World War II. <laughs> oh, man. And then there was a guy called... Uh, 
there was a, a, a there was one black guy on there. The only black I mean, I mentioned he's a black guy because he's the only black guy on the show, and he was um, uh, Arthur Duncan, and he could dance, oh. and he's still around, and he could still dance. He was I found out he was discovered by I think Dinah Shore because yeah. before he was on the Lawrence Welk show, he was on the uh, on her show yeah. and the and the uh, NBC or something. We don't want. Uh, 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 Negroes on 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 shows, and she goes, uh, if he doesn't, uh, uh, if he's not on my show, then you could count me out too, and right. and thus and thus, you know, this is how backward people were in those days, back in like the early fifties and stuff. Um, and uh, Arthur Duncan, there was uh, Joanne Castlethorpe playing the piano really fast. There was uh, that ragtime piano. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, Lawrence Welk show. Joe Feeney, the Irish tenor, was a very good singer. And he's probably the best singer. I remember, though, though I was like a lot of uh, guys. I thought I was above the uh, the, the Lawrence Welk show. And I remember just listening in the next room. There's a really good version of somebody singing the Cotton Fields back home. Oh, yeah. And so I said, wow, I, who, who, I don't usually hear such good music on the, on the Lawrence Welk show. And I go in there, and it's Charlie Pride. He was a guest oh, on there. Yeah. <laughs> so of course it was good. Charlie yeah. Pride was singing. <laughs> yeah, we talked about him. In our yeah, time. Charlie Pride was was great. And um, and um, you know, you talk about weird looking guys. Uh, my my parents didn't like me. Uh, well, not that they didn't like. I don't think they cared. Um, right. uh, I was too young for David Bowie when he first came uh -huh. out. But David Bowie, I remember. Uh, now now put put you know David Bowie is like now right. an institution. But at the time when he came out, nobody looked like David Bowie. Right. He, I mean, there was nobody, not only no one on television, no one you s ever saw in real life to look like David right. Bowie. Right. What did he look like again? Yeah. <laughs> well, he had a lot of makeup. Yeah, all that yeah. red hair. Yeah, but there was. He actually looks like the, members of my family. Him in real life. On my right. mother's side. Yeah. He has the Hargaden look. Yeah. People in my family. Um. Is anyway, it? yeah, the Irish people in my family. Yeah, yeah. she, he, um, David Bowie looks a lot like Tilda Swinton, and a lot of people in, uh, people always ask what the Irish side of my family looks like, and they, I said, imagine an episode of The Sopranos where Albert Finney, David Bowie, and Tilda Swinton play all the parts. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of those albums on that. Yeah. 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 Has, like all his like greatest hits. You know what I'm like what are I. You, what are like his hits? There's Space Oddity, there's which is one of my favorite hits that he See, did. Yeah. John, I'm Only Dancing. Mm -hmm. Change It. Change It. Sticky Stardust. Yeah. Trevor Get City. Yeah. Jean Jenny. Mm -hmm. Jean Genie, I mean. Diamond Dog. Yeah. Rebel Rebel. Yeah. Young American. Fame. And Golden Years. Yeah, they're all, all hit, all big, big songs. Yeah, yeah. So you know what's not on there that should be on there? Yeah. Life on Mars. That's oh, a that's a good song. It might be. There's another. I'm not sure it was a hit, but people you hear it in movies right. that, about the 70s. They always seem to play. Yeah, there's there. another part to this album yeah. that I might want to get one day. There's well, there's he went he left uh, was that RCA I think he left RCA and went on another album uh, label and he, I think it's EMI I think. Yeah, yeah, and then he was uh and then he had a and then he had a whole new career. Right. With Let's Let's Dance and China Girl. And I got that. I got that there. album. It's a good yeah. one too. So. That was like, not only was it his comeback album, it was probably his best album. He, um, David Bowie. I could tell you a whole bunch about David Bowie. You know, David Bowie. Um, it's kind of neat. You know, everyone sees on uh, around Christmas time David Bowie singing with Bing Crosby. Oh, I little, like that one. Little drummer boy. I love that one. And uh, that was actually a big deal at, when it first happened. Right. It was 1977. Uh -huh. David Bowie was like, you know, considered this odd guy. Every time. Nobody really. Oh, go ahead. I was thinking that, you know, the part that they sing together. Oh, yeah. Every time I see me. Yeah. Something like that. yeah, they it's not the typical little drummer boy. They uh they they yeah, have a they have a stuff. they have a section uh, and um and usually people think of the, the chorale that sings the, yeah, the, yeah. the little drummer boy. So anyway, uh he so so he appears on the on the um uh, Bing Crosby special. What right. happened was and it's very weird what happened. Bing Crosby, who everyone knows, Bing Crosby you know, they they do those they tape those shows like in mm -hmm. August and November uh, or 
or September yeah. to be shown at Christmas time. Right. So I think in August it's or September. Yeah. yeah, they don't just do it the day before. Yeah. Or live for Christmas, so it happened. Or the Christmas season. So what happened was, I think they did it in August or September. He appeared on this show, David Bowie, and and, and um, in London, uh, and Bing, and then Bing, in the like not too long after that, maybe a month later, was in Spain playing golf, and and had a heart attack and died yeah. right on, right right. So this is like okay. Oh, so okay. so if you do the timeline, August, uh, he does the show. Uh, maybe October he dies, and then wow. December he's already taped his last show. He died in one day. Right. It was a good way to die. Right. He didn't have to. Yeah. He didn't yeah. have a long yeah. lingering death. Bing Crosby died, yeah. or was golfing and doing something athletic, and then right. died that same day. Right. So anyway, um, he was I think seventy seven years old. I think it was nineteen seventy seven. Wow. He was born nineteen hundred or nineteen oh one or something. So what happened was. Uh, so everyone was waiting to see Bing oh, okay. Crosby's last special, but the crazy thing was, was I don't want to see David Bowie <laughs> because the da the Bing Crosby audience was not the David Bowie audience. Yes. And but at the same time, David evidently they had a rapport, and he and he had and they sang the lovely yeah. song together. And um, and somebody actually told me that that Bing Cro uh, that David Bowie was the Bing Crosby of his time. So. so so, so it's almost like giving the mantle, giving right. the, the baton to uh, David Bowie yeah. uh, for his last show. Yeah. Um, uh, so, um, and also, if you notice, uh, David Bowie uh, doesn't look, he looks kind of normal here. Yeah, he looks yeah, more he, like he, this. He, he doesn't, he didn't have the, 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 well, the, the dress stage, and the makeup and the clown makeup and the red hair. Yeah, and when, he, when he goes on stage, he, got, he, got, he takes all the makeup and all that. Yeah. yeah. He was a relatively healthy guy yeah. until... Uh, he actually had an album. His last album came out like three or four days before he died. Yeah. Isn't that weird? They yeah. said, well, now that he has a new album, he must be going to be touring. And as it turned out, he didn't tour. He died. Yeah, I have, And yet people like that that new album that I haven't heard. Yeah, I have <laughs> the one that I think he made a comeback of in the early 80s. Well, Let's Dance. Let's Dance. Yeah. I have that That's one really stacked up there. And I don't I didn't really feel like any of that one helped. Well, you got, we only need yeah, one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, you can see your really pretty face. Yeah. This is how you hold it. <laughs> so we see everybody. Yeah, it's like, it's like, okay. like, like Kilroy is here. <laughs> 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 like you put on the... <laughs> yeah. no, but uh, so uh, David, I never, you know, I saw a lot, I've seen a lot of uh, uh, famous people. Never mm -hmm. saw David Bowie in person, never went to his concert or anything. He had a really good concert tour I mean, really successful, what I should say, in around the Let's Dance time, I guess in the mid '80s or yeah. And I never, I didn't get a chance to see him. Uh, I have to admit that David Bowie, I don't, I don't think I have any of his albums. I have some of his records, his 45s, yeah, what I was throwing because yeah. I like a lot of his songs. Yeah, I like yeah. I like them more now than I did then. Yeah. But I um, but uh, I didn't uh. But when I listen to music, David Bowie's not usually who I kick back with. <laughs> yeah, I only have two albums left. Yeah. But I might get some more, you know. But you pick uh, two good ones, yeah. Yeah. They're but they're all good. I, I, there's nothing. There's no bad David Bowie album. They're yeah. all they're all pretty good, yeah. you know. I mean the and uh, but I know uh, what, when I was in college, someone I knew someone who was a big David Bowie fan. And to be honest, I didn't know a whole lot about yeah. David Bowie. And uh, and he kind of educated me how how great he right, is. Yeah. Yeah. You never hear him sing cover songs. He only oh. sings. Um, I heard him uh, on one of his albums. He sings "God Only Knows" the Beach Boys song. Oh, yeah. uh, I think that's the Blue Jean album. And then he also, uh, it's kind of neat. There's a uh, he guest stars on a. Um, of course, he, he sings with uh, yeah. uh, Mick Jagger, Dancing in the Street, yeah. for charity, yeah. uh, for Live Aid. And then there was um, a, there was a song. Um, he sings "Let's Dance" with uh, Tina Turner oh, yeah. on one of her albums. But what's kind of neat, right at the beginning, they they don't they don't they don't uh, sing um, uh, the, the the typical "Let's right. Dance." They sing the original one. Uh, going to the big da 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 da. Let's dance da 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 da. Let's dance da 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 da. With it go to go da 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 da. Let's dance and then it goes let's dance and it went right into the song and then it became the David Bowie hit. I know I I know I messed up that first part because I don't know the words to it but it's such a good song the original let's dance. 
that David Bowie did not write. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I uh, I actually have a. Uh, I, I've been listening to another greatest hits album, like your greatest hits, uh, this is Carly Simon. I have that album. Yeah, Carly, yeah, That's a really good one too. And this was I, I took a look at the year of this as 1975. Wow, that's a that's a I have that album. And so, uh, there, anything after 1975, like ready to take a chance again, uh -huh. uh, or taking or what? I don't know what's called. Yeah. That song from uh, from a Working Girl is not mm. on here. <laughs> and you know what else is not on here? What? Is she had a hit after this album came out that she did not. She usually writes her song. Mm -hmm. This there was nobody does it better. It was from oh, the yeah. uh, James Bond movie. Yeah. And and for some uh, Marvin Hamlish wrote that one. And for some reason, it's my. It's to this day my favorite James Bond song. Yeah. And you don't think of Carly Simon. You don't mm -hmm. usually associate, at least certainly mm -hmm. before that, you never associate the right. uh, nice New York woman right. with James Bond. Right. But she, uh, uh, Carly Simon, uh, was raised, I think, in a rich, she was actually rich growing up. Uh, uh, David Bowie's real name is David Jones. Oh, well, and I think may, so. Yeah, you might be related. Maybe. To Who knows? <laughs> I'd like to have some yeah, of that. Yeah, I know. Like that, at least uh, I need bus fare and a and a and a, and a cup of coffee. At <laughs> That's all you're gonna get. All the Joneses yeah. will get that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. but Carly Simon, I think her family runs Simon and Schuster, the, uh, oh. the publishing firm. Uh, uh, she famously does not perform uh, 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 in a big way. Carly yeah. Simon. Yeah. Carly Simon is a. Um, Evidently has stage fright like Barbara Streisand. Oh, yeah. She actually, I think, it actually is worse than that. She actually oh, has a stutter. Oh. You see her interview; she has a yeah, hard time getting the words out. Have but like a lot of stutterers, uh, she when she sings, she doesn't have it. I yeah. mean, you you don't stutter alone. You don't stutter when you sing, and you don't stutter with your pets. Yeah. The story goes, but um, but she um. She made an appearance at Tower Records in New York on oh, Broadway, yeah. and I probably the longest I've ever waited for a celebrity. I waited three hours in line to meet uh, Carly Simon. Uh -huh. She was publicizing a new album, right. and to be honest with you, I didn't really want to buy her new album, <laughs> but I thought I should buy something, so I found her. It was one of these uh, tribute albums to Gershwin oh, yeah. and Larry Adler, and uh, I had her. Uh, I bought it. I bought it there at Tower Records. Took the little booklet out oh, yeah. where her picture was and said, "Can you sign this instead?" As uh, and she she had not seen that album. She knew that she recorded a song for. It. She goes, "I this is a great album. I heard people, you know, I've heard bits of this, and I yeah. didn't know it was even out." Wow. And so she was very excited to sign it, which okay. I still have. And uh, I also got my picture taken with Carly. Oh, wow. So it was, uh, and so I never thought someone who is so reclusive I would ever see uh, in person or. Or much less get to meet. Right. So I got to meet Carly Simon. Carly Simon has a great voice. Um, she does. When people think of Carly Simon, they think of the song "You're So Vain." Yeah. And that's uh, her. She was married to um, James Taylor. James Taylor did a lot of songs. Uh, they had, I think, I even maybe at least one album where they just sing duets, they sing "Mockingbird." And, uh, yeah, I like that. And, that's um, on there too. Yeah, so. that's on here. Yeah. And "You're So Vain." But it's one of those things where it's almost like Lucy and Desi Arnaz. You, you you even though they're long they were long divorced and they're both still alive uh, Carly Simon and James so you think of them as <laughs> you think of them always been married right. <laughs> and they're probably only married right, a few years right. and uh, uh, James Taylor uh, is a great singer and and, oh, yeah, um, like and but too. Carly uh, but uh, Carly is something else and Carly um, uh, so yeah and and uh, uh, so I uh, got. Uh, Got to meet. Uh, I, I've seen her interviewed a few times on on uh, Popper. She comes and goes every once in a while. Yeah. I think she's been married for a long time to her second husband. Yeah. So, but everyone assumes that she's still married to James she, Taylor. She had children by James Taylor. James Taylor. Yeah. 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 And um, what can I tell you about? Uh, but that nobody does it better. Is just so. Oh good yeah, that's a good one. By, yeah. By what do you have to say about Carly Simon? She's the absolute best singer ever. Carly Simon? One of them, yeah. Really? I, I think all of them are best singers. Yeah. I, like every, I think everybody's best singer. It's kind of hard to choose. So. You like them all. Yes. I try to find something good in every yes. singer, every song. I Who's my favorite singer? You know, I tell you, you have a lot, we have a lot of record albums back here. Yes, yes. Listen, I, I gotta tell you something. This is how you know who your favorite singer is. Or yes. who you think is the, who your favorite is probably who you think is the best. Yes. And it's very simple. 
you find out, you look through your record album collection, you look through your tapes, you look through your CDs, you look through everything you have, uh, or, or how many concert tickets or concerts you went to, and you say, who have I seen the most, or whose records do I have the most? And I figured out that of the men, of the male singers, I, you, I would assume, oh, I must think Frank Sinatra is the best, or Dean Martin's the best, or someone like that. I actually have more Bobby Darren than any of them. Oh. So Bob, to me, Bobby Darren is my favorite singer. Yeah, Willie like Nelson is like my favorite singer. And then and then women, uh um I have so many Dinah Washington albums. Oh, I have one Dinah Washington. Yeah, album. and I I'm meaning that that I if they're on sale or if yeah. I if I'd never heard it before or something. Yeah, you yeah. know, trouble with a lot of the albums, they're all you see there are the greatest hits. Yeah. I'd like to get all if they're if I really like the person yeah. and, and they don't make albums like as much as they did. You know, Diana Washington, Bobby Darren, maybe Willie Nelson still makes a lot of albums, but yeah. uh, in the day. But I mean, the, a lot of these, like Michael Jackson, every three or four years, an album comes out. Bruce Springsteen, every three or four or five years. I mean, those days, every three months, a new album came out, yeah. so they had plenty of product yeah. to pick from. Yeah. And so, Bobby Darren, Diana Washington, are the ones I have the most of. Yeah. <laughs> so they, yeah. so they would be my favorite singers. I have one Diana Washington album. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we could talk about Bobby Darren, Dinah Washington. Uh, uh, for uh, I mean, I, I don't think the show is long enough. Yeah. In fact, I think the show's almost over. Yeah. <laughs> well, Thanks for having me here. Absolutely. I had a wonderful. I, I, you know, we we haven't done an indoor show in a while because it's but it's raining outside. So. Yeah, it's, it's the weather is good up back here, yeah. so we decided to do it in here. Yeah, yeah but we we never part, disappoint our friends. We always exactly. we, yeah, we, right. we we it's what the public wants is yes. the show from Mary Elizabeth, and we do what the public wants. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> as long as you enjoy it, you know, so be it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So thanks for having me here. Absolutely, and it was great having everybody come watch us, and we love you all. May God bless you all. Take care. Bye.